examiner.com. This is 7 days in 7 minutes. The European Union has slammed Microsoft and Apple over antitrust issues. Commissioner Neely Crow said Microsoft refused to act under space with legislation and that Apple needed action from the record labels to break its monopoly on the iTunes service. She said that the row over Apple's proprietary iTunes technology showed how consumers can force change on a potential monopolist without intervention from the competition authorities. Australia is wrong to claim that Indian outsourcing companies are security risk, says Vipro Chairman Azim Premji. Fears over holding sensitive data offshore have led to barriers against Indian firms, he said. Premji added that Indian companies pose no more risk than other overseas companies and reminded Australians that if IBM and Accenture had endorsed India by setting up operations there, there was no need for customers to be concerned. Microsoft says one in three PCs worldwide uses pirated software. The company has filed lawsuits in the US accusing 21 resellers of selling illegal software. The firm claimed that some of the resellers were repeat offenders and carried on selling pirated software even after admitting previous offenses. Most of the cases relate to pre-installed software on new PCs. Sri Lankan customs are clamping down mobile phones brought into the country illegally, saying 20,000 are arriving every month. There is a growing grey market of mobiles brought in by people, claiming they are gifts for relatives to avoid import and sales tax. Officials have warned that phones suspected of being intended for resale would be confiscated. Most of the smuggled phones are reported to come from Dubai, China and India. Mobile phone calls are cheaper in Pakistan than India. International calls made from Pakistan cost as little as 1 rand a minute, but Indians can pay up to 6 times as much. On local calls, Pakistani operators charge as little as 30 to 50 paisa a minute, especially when calling within their own networks. So, for Indian customers, perhaps it's time to put pressure on telcos to lower prices. Cat-sized reptiles, possibly the ancestors of mammals, roamed Antarctica 245 million years ago, living in burrows and eating plant roots and insects when Antarctica had a temperate climate. Remains of burrows have been found very similar to those found in South Africa, where a complete skeleton of a mammal-like reptile was found. Scientists believe the Antarctic burrows were created by the same type of creature. For further updates, please log on to itexaminer.com.